Italy. Known for its agriculture, food and beautiful surroundings. But I'm here for one reason and one reason only, and that's for huge Italian carp. I will be embarking on a solo mission travelling 1,150 miles in France, Switzerland and finishing in Northern Italy, where I'll be faced with my biggest challenge yet. Parco del Brenta. Known for some of the biggest carp Italy has to offer. Why am I doing all this? Well, because I'm absolutely obsessed with carp fishing and just crazy enough to go on my own and film it. Welcome to Eurotunnel Travels. Look at this. I've only just got here. Cracked open a Bell Vita. Couldn't wait. Couldn't wait. Seatbelts on the tunnel for one reason and one reason only. We're in France. Come on, 800 miles to go. Parco, I'm coming for you, baby. Come on. meant to be done for me today but I'm just in utter shock and disbelief. I've come to France and got myself a Mackie's here and they've got the order right. Bear in mind they speak spoke no English whatsoever but if I go to my local one round the corner who speak English they can't get it right. What is going on? This is a f***ing pain in the arse. Let me just climb across your car to this f***ing thing. Marco Del Brenta. When I saw the sign, I, I couldn't quite believe it. I'd actually done it. All 1,150 miles. My longest drive and the furthest I've ever been away on my own. This was a huge moment. And this is what carp fishing is all about. The places it takes you. The going any length for what you love. And the buzz that it brings you. It's something else that can't be described. But it is what wakes me up in the morning. It was time to start fishing. Well, the bobbins remained motionless last night. Um, there was a lot of shows, but they were all in the other side of the lake. Um, so a move is definitely on the cards this morning. Um, I'm going to have a chat with the bailiff and see what pegs are available. But uh, it's going to be hard this week. It's going to be really hard. It's warm days, cold nights, and high pressures, which aren't exactly brilliant for carp fishing. But you don't catch them without a rod in the water. Let's have it. Well, thank you, Boring Charlie, for that thrilling update about wanting to move pegs. I really am on the edge of my seat now thinking about it. So excited. But I will give myself the benefit of the doubt. I was very, very tired. However, we are moving pegs. Everything's getting loaded into the van now. We're driving down to peg three, where I'm hoping my attitude will be a little bit better. And I'm also hoping that there will be some big Italian carp in my net.
slow take. Really slow take. But there is something on the end. I just wanted to make clear that I did actually have to cut this clip considerably as I was convinced it was a carp on the end when in reality it was a stick the whole time. Not quite the species I was after. Now time for a little live catch up from Parco. Oh, I'm relaxed. It's Monday, I'm at Parco. I've not really done much updating because there's not really been much caught. <laughs> Why that is? Because the conditions are not ideal. We've got really, really warm days and really nice cold nights. Yeah, yeah, warm days, cold nights. We've heard it all before. Tell me something I don't know. Fish are all bunched up in the middle. Well, more to the left, all sat on the top, just sticking the two fingers up at us, really, just having a laugh. I'm like Muggins Malone here. But I have tried to get closer to them. Now, I started off in peg six, oh, peg six, which is back down there. I'm now on peg three, so I've moved closer to these fish, but I'm still not near them. I'm still not near them. Of an evening, they are moving around a little bit and I have had them crashing near me, but they're just not feeding. And when I say they're not feeding, <laughs> they're not feeding. They just don't want any of it, absolutely none of it. Of an evening, they are a bit more active and I can, I can reach them as they break off, but they could be boshing over me four or five times and they don't want any of it. I've changed hook baits, changed rigs, ch you name it, I've changed it. I've given it all a go. And they just, um, I, like I say, I'm mugging to Malonia. They're just not having it. <sighs> I've been up most nights as well. Sat up watching for them till three, four o'clock in the morning, then carrying on the rest of the day, which starts to drive a man a little bit insane. Blank fever is well and truly set in after three days. Uh, there was a spider living on, uh, living on me rod. It started, made a little home, made a web. That's how silent the rods have been. Um, and it's just been, it's been really hard. It's been really hard. The sun in the day as well as, is, it, it's tiring. But I'm keeping positive and I'm gonna come for these fish. Um, don't get too excited, Charlie got me twitching you know I saw the line move in the wind the other day and got excited but I'm keeping the faith I'm keeping the faith and I'm coming for these fish I'm coming for these fish they must be catchable it it's not just me either the rest of the lake is struggling I'm not just a, an absolute noddy not at all um, but yeah it's, it's struggling conditions for everyone it's struggling conditions for everyone uh, I've been well treated though here eh? I've had uh, pizza pasta and lasagna for the past three nights which has been absolutely lovely it is it is nice being in italy lasagna baby <sighs> get a look at that oh yes this evening is meant to be a little warmer and i am praying i really am praying and i'm not a i'm not a religious man but i was on my knees in my bivy last night praying just praying and uh I'm just hoping for some of these carp. I know a nice, nice lunch tonight would be nice. Well, a nice tea. But uh, for now, I'm sitting, keeping the blanking fever well and truly alive. Uh, I had to film this as the sun's going down because it's just so warm in the day. Uh, as you can see, my tomato uh, face says it all, that it's warm. Uh, hopefully that'll brown off and I'll look uh, half decent. But uh, for now, it's just a waiting game. The sun rose and set unmercifully on the next few days, and time was now my greatest enemy. The church bell of Parker reminded me of this, ringing every hour, echoing in my mind the little time I had left. With only the last few days remaining, had I really bitten off more than I could chew. It's been a dogged, dogged few days. 
I've started seeing the line twitch and getting excited just by the wind. But when this alarm went off, I can't describe the feeling. Oh my God, I'm nearly in tears. I didn't think it was gonna happen for me this week. The fishing has been so hard. But me, oh sh shake like a sh dog. Holy shit, it was a really good bite as well. And it's holding, it's holding. Holy shit. I've seen him showing down to my right. So I decided to just throw a bag down there. Must have been an hour ago <laughs> and the rod's gone. Oh my God. This will mean the absolute world to me. This will be one of the biggest moments in my life. Please, please land this fish. Please. Come on, baby, come on. I am well and truly in my pants. I haven't seen it break the surface yet. The fish in here are absolutely massive. You just don't know what is on the end of this hook. You just don't know. It could be anything. Anything from 20 pound all the way up to 80. This is absolutely ridiculous. Just keep it playing nice and safe. Make steady ground and we'll have her in. Come on, come on. It's holding out there, it's holding. Please be a big one. Oh my God. Please be a big one, please be a big one. Go on girl. I will play this on backwind, but I'm too scared. I just want to make sure I get it in. Holy sh! It has been such hard fishing this week. Very few people have caught anything. But here I am with a Parco carp on. Well, actually, I've not seen it yet, so it could still a catfish we're close in now it was a really slow pickup really slow which just makes me think is it something decent anything will do to be honest anything will do just as long as it's a carp I'll be a happy, happy man. Please. Come on, show yourself. I haven't even got close to seeing it yet. Please be a carp. Please be a carp. I still really can't see it. Oh my God, it's a carp. Oh my God, it's a carp. And it's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big common. It's a really big common. Holy sh! It's on a brick. It's a big common. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a big, big common. Holy that's a big common. That is a big common. He does not want to come in. He's one angry, angry fish. Oh, come on. Yes! Come on! 
Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh, yes! Yes! Fucking come on! Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, look at the size of that, Mum! <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know, Mum. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't. No, I'm gonna get my scales, get it in a sling and think. I need to be quick before the light don't go this as well. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what to do with myself. I don't know what to do with myself. Right. Let me get my camera out. Holy stick. <laughs> You what? Yeah, mum, it's ragged me. Yeah, bro. Let's back you here. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Big bastard. <laughs> right. I'm gonna have to sort all this out, cock. Yeah. I'll call you back in a bit. No, text me yeah, we will do. Right. Bye. Well, here we go. I didn't think it was going to happen to me this week. It's been really tough fishing. But I've managed to bank one. And my god, it's a good one. <laughs> oh, yes. And there she is. One of Parco's mirrors. Mirrors? Commons. Absolute king unit of a fish. I'm struggling to hold it. I've already done pictures. So my energy is very low. But just look at that beast. Come on. I only went and bloody did it. Come on. I'm still buzzing now. I must have been there about, what, three weeks ago now, and I'm still buzzing from it. I just, I live for this. I love it. Every single second of it. The ups, the downs, you know. It was a grueler of a session. But with persistence, I caught one. I went all that way through Switzerland, over the Alps, in through Italy. I've never done anything like that before. But I thought, sod it, I'll give it a go. Because I love it, you know, it's carp fishing. And if I can just give a little bit of this buzz to someone and get them fishing or they can, you know, enjoy watching me, that that will make me even happier inside, you know. This, this is what I love. I genuinely am in love with this sport and I cannot wait to do the next one. <laughs>